here is part two of harness training your cat from scratch. So basically what I'm doing is Isis is in a harness. She's been wearing it for over 24 hours now. She's gotten used to it. She runs around, acts normal on it. Now I've put the leash on. And basically what I'm doing is like regular, like the way we play with a toy, instead of her trying to like run away, which she'll still try to run away because she doesn't like having the leash on, but basically playing with a toy. Give her some treats, like whatever. The other cool thing about this is traditionally Isis would run away from Lily. She's kind of in a position where she knows that she's not capable of running away, which means she's not going to annoy Lily. Usually she's the one pouncing on Lily and just driving Lily absolutely crazy. But she knows if she does that, it's like an instinct thing. She knows if she does that, Lily's going to jump right back on her. The difference is, is that she can't run away. So she's just been sitting like this and not really going for Lily. So it's kind of funny. She's in more of a submissive role right now. And I feel like Lily sees that also and is taking full advantage of the situation. Like Lily's more the one playing and going for the toys now that Isis is kind of like subdued. And Isis is kind of just sitting there, not really going for the toy at all. Just like putting her head down, but you can see she's following it back and forth. At first, she's just like, I have a leash on me. This is absolutely awful. The best thing that can happen is what's about to happen. She forgets that she has a leash on and just plays with the toy. If I get her to that point, then eventually what I want to be able to do is fetch with her and let go of the leash, have her run after the object, and then bring it back and completely forget that she has a leash trailing behind her. Then eventually fetch with her and walk with her with the leash on while she gets it and then throw it so basically she gets used to running around. Even if your cat doesn't fetch, you could just throw anything that they like fetching while well, running after and playing with. And if they're wearing a harness and they're used to it and they have a leash, then essentially they're walking. Because it's like a, basically with a cat, you're not walking first. They're kind of leading and you're kind of running along with them. That's why usually like what I have going on right now, this is a dog leash. This isn't really what you'd use for a cat. It's just the cheapest thing that I could buy at Petco until I get the good stuff that's being delivered through Amazon, which is a retractable cat leash, leash which basically looks like a bungee cord. It's very lightweight and it's just, it's simple. It lets them run around and do their own thing. A hundred times better than what I have now. And I got a proper harness. This is like an okay harness, but I got a nice Velcro on that I'll make a video of later. My basic idea is she's playing and now I'm going to like move a little away. <laughs> Lily got tangled up. See, Basically, you want her to forget that she has the leash on. The same way she forgot she has the harness on. At one point, she hated the harness. She tried to tear it off. She's had on for over a day. She's used to it now. You want to do the same thing with the leash. I would never leave her with the leash on the whole day. That just sounds like potential disaster. You know, come back to a cat like hanging or stuck off of something. It just sounds like a horrible idea. But she gets used to this leash and running around with the leash. Next thing you know, you're holding the leash and she's still the one running around and in control. So then the next step after that is actually letting her go outside. And usually the cat's going to be freaked out because they haven't been outside. So you can see this is like a gradual thing. It's like every single day there's another piece. You need patience to do this. But honestly, we're talking like the first two months that you get your cat. If you can be patient during that time and do these things, like literally what I'm doing right now. I mean, this is boring honestly it's very boring I mean look, look, look at this I'm just back and forth back and forth play with the toy play with the toy 
until eventually I can fetch with her and then it's fetching. It literally is training. But then you're talking about people coming over your cat, not running away. Her playing fetch, paw, high five, like running around with you outside. I mean, the benefits are just unbelievable. And then you also have the best of both worlds. You have a pet who's litter trained where if you have plans, you don't have to worry about coming back. If you had to like leave, go somewhere for a day, you can come back, nothing to worry about. And at the same time, you have a pet where you have the option to bring them outside on a leash, which is great because A, you get exercise, they get exercise, B, social, like you meet a lot of people that way. Like there's just so many great things about that. But at the same time, if it's raining, if it's winter and it's freezing out, if it's snowing, you don't want to have to go outside. Whereas with a dog, you have to do that. So in my opinion, this is just completely the best of both worlds. And honestly, I mean, just watch my videos. Any video that has to do with instruction, with training, with tricks, all the other videos are for fun, they're cute, there's tips thrown in, but watch those videos, see what I do, step by step, do it. I mean, this is stuff you don't have to have. I mean, it's cool that I have purebred cats. They look cool, they're intelligent, but you get a shelter cat too. Any cat, really. You just, from a kitten, you start doing this stuff. I mean, look at her. You saw, she's sitting there. See how she just tried to run away? It's fine. I mean, she has a leash. She doesn't want to have a leash on. But given a couple of days, <laughs> she's not even going to care about the leash. And then we're going to be playing fetch. I mean, just patience. Patience is the key word here. Nothing but patience. And the other cool thing about this is she can't really go anywhere. So... She's adjusting her personality accordingly, which is also cool as far as the two of them bonding because Lily at times can be afraid of Isis because Isis is a kitten, runs around, she's wild. And Lily is very calm. She's not really not like a crazy kitty. So this is kind of a good situation because Lily gets to be in control for a bit, the dominant one. Isis is kind of just sitting there and... I bet during this process, the two of them are going to become better friends as a result of it. Because Isis is not going to do anything crazy when she has a leash on her. Because she knows she can't run away. Lily's going to see that. And Lily, being the playful little girl she is, is probably going to go sit down next to her when she's tired. And Isis, knowing that she really can't do much of anything with this thing on her, is probably just going to sit there. I think that will be the start of... A beautiful thing. I mean, really, the greatest thing that could happen is when two cats start to groom each other. They start to groom each other, lick each other. It's game over. They're best buddies. They're still in the frenemy stage right now. Yeah, this is literally, this is how you do it. So this is step two of harness training your cat. Not that entertaining for the owner. Not that entertaining for her. Lily's done this stuff already, so she's just like having a good time. <laughs> but as you can see, the harness doesn't really bother her. It's the leash, the fact that she can't run away and do what she wants. And she's a Bengal, which means she wants to do what she wants when she wants to do it. And she wants that freedom to run around and kind of watch anything about Bengals. And you'll see they're very do things when they want high energy big climbers just really awesome cat I feel like it's Shakespeare taming of the shrew with this one but it's going to be well worth all the effort and I have my lovely assistant Lily here to help me out so until next time harness training part 2 Nice. This is like, I'm so sick of this. I do not look happy right now. Subscribe.